Okay. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> and I see somebody is on. Let me open up the, um, let me find. Is it one of our regulars? Who is it? I don't who know. It? Tell us who you are. <laughs> um, how are you doing this morning? Uh, well, we've gotten through another week of virtual learning. That's all I can say. Yeah. <laughs> if you're joining us for the first time, hey, it's Ed. Good morning. Good morning, Ed. Um, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. I'm Lady Anne, and I'm here with Sarah. And uh, Sarah has two little kids that <laughs> have uh, created the uh, Kearney Household School. Yeah. Now, as a result of COVID, so fun, fun stuff. Yeah. Uh, good morning. And I think that's Marley that just came on. Oh, Hello. Good morning. So, you know what today is? Today is well, it's several things, isn't it? The big one. Uh, well, I'm local I'm no yarn one. store oh, day. Okay, well, I was gonna do the <laughs> other ones. <laughs> hey, yes. Sandy. It's the rescheduled local, local yarn, yarn store day. day. Yep. Um, so local yarn store day is normally in April and because of uh, things this year it is today <laughs> so um, we'll share a little bit about that in a minute we're gonna do our on the needles off the needles all that goodness then let's share a little local yarn store we're gonna go into some fun Marley you're awesome um, then we're gonna go into some fun um, Sarah Carney content mm. so I All right, fine. <laughs> what you got going on your on your needles? Well, so I'm still working on the homeschooling hell blanket, which is the <laughs> which the what is it really the, called? <laughs> it's not it's the, the it's the kaleidoscope blanket. It's a crochet blanket, and it's a uh, it's from. Um, I mean, I started doing it, but I had shown it in the show two weeks ago when I was talking about um, like knitting and crochet that looks like quilts. Yeah. Um, so it's a bunch of triangles, oh, a bunch yeah. of octagon, and all that kind of stuff. So I didn't bring any pieces of that because that's not fun. So I'll because there's like you know, twelve hundred pieces to it. Okay. So I'll bring I'll bring something again when I've started to assemble it. Okay. And it like actually looks like something. Um, but and then I'm also working on my soundtrack, but that's just the body, so that's kind which of is a that's the circular yoke. Yeah, it's just I'm, it's I'm, cute. It is. It's really cute. This is the there's the yoke. Yeah. There's Karen. Good and morning. then. This, and then the, the sleeve that is not, good. that's not in the pattern. Careful but, how you point there. Sorry, okay, <laughs> sorry. That's, well, that's what's the finger that was available. <laughs> this part is not in the pattern. I just added it, so. I like it. If you would like to do that, and then I just bound off with the. So with just the a, a note on that, I sent out, so I sent out an email this morning, which I'm not sure what happened with the, um, it's the normal software that we send out, like a newsletter thing, but. I noticed in mobile it blew up all the pictures like ridiculously big so it look at the email that I sent on your computer um, and I'm also gonna post but there's a sweater from Malabrigo that they have kits for oh that that is kind of reminiscent of that of the soundtrack is it a it's is it a slip stitch pattern still or is it actual color work do know <laughs> I mean I, I, didn't, I didn't read the pattern but the design looks kind of similar it's really it's beautiful it's really pretty let me see if I can find the name of it real quick if you guys well you can't um, go wrong with Malabrigo colors right like, uh I'm sorry Broco that one's from Broco it's a oh, Broco okay. kit not Malabrigo it's um well I love Broco too. Uh, dang I, I I'm gonna just show you real quick the <laughs> it's this oh isn't that pretty that is pretty so you know what that yeah. kind of looks like because it's like squarish blocks of color yeah it looks like that Oh, what was that weird thing that I did for a show? Look at the camera because it looks weird. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, well, I can't yeah. do that. She's sitting right next to me. Well, and we're not. When we're, not we're like, all when we're yeah. when we do it the show normally and we're not like socially <laughs> we would be distanced. Able to look at we're each always other. looking at each other and like you know bantering and stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna apologize now because I'm not gonna stop doing that. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> so. um, I mean, the side of your face is lovely, but <laughs> Sandy said the email looks good on her laptop. I think it's just on the mobile. It's a, do, are the words still there? The pictures it's, are so big you can't see anything. Like you're seeing oh. pixels. Oh, wow. Yeah. So okay. look at it on your, on so your computer, really gang. <laughs> yeah, so, but yeah, that, that sweater is gorgeous. And I, I knew you would like this one from Broco. Yeah. 
Uh, you can't go wrong with Brooke. Is it? It's pretty. Um, it's not vintage mm. though. It's one of their. No, and and I'll tell you what Broco has right now. It's a. Um, I don't. It doesn't say on there. They have a bunch of kits. It's in the email. Um, bunch of kits. Yeah, that is pretty. Um, and I'll I'll tell you more about that after her on the needles. But and there's like a little bit of texture to it. Too. Yeah, it's really pretty. Um, so then the one thing that I finished was Ooh. my matching hat. To, so here's Sandy's, Sandy's watching. Sandy's cow. Let me make sure it's I on the. I love it. So there's Sandy's cow. Yeah. And you work this side to side, so she has a um, eye cord on the sides. I love it. Um, but then the hat, I just did a. Um, I could have done an eye cord cast on, but I like it without it. Well, it, the eye cord I, I is mean, here. Let me see. But it's not. Oh, it's not that pronounced it's like a fairly because what I did was huh. I did the provisional cast on and then I did it as an I cord cast off and it's it's a oh, okay. three stitch one so it's not like the normal cause, yeah because you can do it with more stitches because I wasn't exact like I totally made this up and I wasn't exactly sure Who's what I was going to be doing <laughs> yeah let me, let me see that so I Ooh. so um Ooh. yeah this is and beautiful. I did make that I love mitt. It. Isn't it? It turned out really good. And then the decreases were really simple too. So like in the like when you get to let me see if I'm so when you get to like this row here, I de I did a central double decrease here. And then when you go to the purple row, the next one, I did a central double decrease here. So you're taking out four stitches in like you know the whole like a a big block that's cool yeah so the cowl is sandy rosner's pattern you can yeah. get it on find your flock ravelry find your flock and it's made with hand dyed diva worsted. worsted yes and there are, we i put up and i will put up again um pictures of different color combinations that sandy um knit up so you can see kind of how it would work yeah. i love the purples and it really i like it really ended up working out like really well at the crown. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah. So that worked out pretty good. So I'm happy with that. Cause no pom pom for that hat. I don't think so. That's I think pretty. That's, yeah, I think that's good. And I did make that mitt, but then as I was thinking about it, I was like, I was really like, because I was just making it up as I went along, I wasn't thinking about the thumb very well. So I am going to probably redo them. So I only made one, but Got so it. I'll have to redo it. Very um, cool. So that's my, on and off needle needles. thing. Yes, what's your needly stuff? My needly stuff is... Or hooky stuff. My, yeah, right now it's it's mostly... Uh, well, I'll start with this. So I, I published the... Oh, yay! Yay! Little head with a hat. Um, the picture of Sherry wearing this is really cool. Um, <laughs> is it that one? Is she modeling that one? Yeah, yeah she's modeling this one. Okay. one. And uh, yeah, so... Sandy said, you're so clever, Sarah. She's very clever. Watch out for her. <laughs> Kidding. Some, She's sometimes awesome. I cause problems. No. <laughs> oh, no, only the good kind. Um, this is an off the hook. This was the um, going to be a blanket, but didn't. And then I decided to make little just super easy end caps. This is a super well, easy crochet pattern, but I love it. it it's like, I like the, I the weight. A lot of times I think people kind of shy away from... Um, which is what you were talking about last week is I think crochet. a lot of people shy away from crochet because it gets bulky really quick yeah. and a lot of projects that people remember like their parents doing use the worsted weight yeah. like acrylic stuff which heavy. I, I am not telling you acrylic yarn is bad I will never say acrylic no, yarn but is bad it you, serves its purpose it, it's not even just that it's the weight of the like the thickness of the yarn yeah, yeah. and 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 trying to use like the, it just all of it gets bulky because yeah, the, it the stitches it's themselves are bulkier but Very that's kind of fingering it. weight yarn it's right fingering so. weight. yeah and all I did was go through my stash so I actually started doing a second one um, in a totally different color scheme and I Ooh. wanted to show you oh that you. one goes with your I like with your um, shirt it kind of does there you go yeah wear it like a <laughs> Miss Crochet America there you go um, but yeah, I'm just really enjoying messing around with this and um, playing with color, and so yeah, I I don't know, it's just fun. That's that's a lot that. Of different stuff together. Yeah. I do have other stuff that's like sitting around, but <laughs> it's the same old stuff, you guys. It's the black and white, you know, whatever. Just wrap. Well, we haven't mm. seen that in a long time. Have you made any progress? I'm on okay it? with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no. 
It's it's enjoying it's it's not in time it's out, a but nap. it's it's waiting patiently in line. I don't know. I'm just really enjoying crochet. I needed a little um, change of pace. Yes. So before we launch into um, the content for today, because I don't want to let this get away, um, we have some exciting stuff happening today. Um, but this is also a tease. <laughs> For the Charlotte area yarn crawl, and which is in two weekends. Yes, right? in two not, next week week not next weekend. Not next weekend. The following. So the Charlotte area yarn crawl is the 25th through the 27th of September, and uh, we're virtual. I would say we're kind of combo. You can still go into most of the shops. Do check to make sure what their policies are and their hours and all of that. Um, but each shop has an hour each day to do a live segment we will still do our normal show on saturday morning the 26th please note <laughs> saturday the 26th is officially diva day that yep. sounds good that is diva all day. the divas all the divas all the divas whatever your <laughs> diva brand or flair is so we have a few things that are going to happen Ooh. i know I'm i want to hold one you want one yeah you want to you want to i want one of each yeah Okay. Oh, I'll, okay. there you go. Okay. okay, we had to plan for that. <laughs> so, um, Sherry and I have been hard at work dyeing uh, lots of yarn, and part of what has happened, and I think you might be holding one of them. Can I see the non? Let me trade you. Okay. Okay. So, um, oh, that's not what I thought it was. Okay, part of what's happened is we have a colorway for today called Lady Luck. Ooh, mine's really washed out. Sorry. Yeah, gotta get a little closer. <laughs> there Lady we go. Luck, and um, Lady Luck is a pretty greenish, speckly thing, and some of them have a little more green background. Ooh, my light is really close. So I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do it. It's, my light is really. It's a close, washout. So. <laughs> so this, but we're introducing some new bases, and I'm really excited. So what Sarah was just I was really trying excited to do, about but this is a sparkle, which you can kind of see on the camera there. This is a glistening sparkle. It, it's I can't really even pretty. I can't even explain it. It's like, you can't see, I was telling Lady Anne when she first sat down, you can't see the filament like running through the yarn. You just All see you the see sparkle. is the, I don't know if like I'll little diamonds. It there. It's, it's really and it's, fun. And so like, it just catches the light. Like I could totally imagine just like walking down the street and having this like. <laughs> well, yeah, Kathy and I were talking yesterday. I totally spilled the beans. Kathy is the mayor of Yarntown and she pretty much lives here. And I said, yeah, you know, we're gonna have this sparkle. It's really amazing. And she said, I want to make a sweater out of it. And I thought, I do too. Which I thought, who are you, Lady Anne? Um, but we've got this sparkle, which is um, made the, the wool that, is in it let me see the fiber content is 76 percent superwash shiniko which is all american wool and milled in north carolina so super excited about that sandy loves the sparkle i do too so we've got that and then um we have it in all the weights that we have but we've also added and i don't have it right here in front of me we also added domestic um sock Oh, yeah. Okay. So we have a new sock base that is also from the mill in North Carolina. It's all American uh, wool, 80% um, all American wool. And um, it is a tighter twist than the sock we already have. So, so it's like, it's like the, does it, is it, um, no, you said 80%. So then the other, it's 80, 20 nylon. nylon. Okay. Yeah. But, but it's also a particular kind of nylon. That's a really soft, the way they've, they've made this nylon is different. I don't know. So I'm just really excited. So these will go live. The, the lady luck colorway will go live at around 11 today. We've got to clean up from the show and then get this, um, up, but, um, that so, will go but live. this is, but this is just for today the crawl right this no no this is today this is local oh, yarn store I mean, day yarn what are you doing i'm lady? sorry i'm mixing them all up i'm sorry <laughs> she wants all the holidays <laughs> all at one time so this yeah. co this colorway is just for local it's launched today day. yeah and okay. i i'm sure that um 
Well, let me put it this way. If we sell out of this today, then we'll have more of it for the crawl. It's, it's not going to go away. I, you guys will have lady luck, um, but today's the, if you want it now, it may be a while before we dye it again, but we'll try to have there's it for a the big, crawl. There's a, there's a big bin over there, so. There's a bin. Yeah. A bin of, a bin of joy. And then for the yarn crawl, we have, we'll have all of those weights, but in bunches of colors. And there's one colorway that I shall not tell you about. That's right. That looks killer on the sparkle. <laughs> so there's that. That is, that is what I have for you today. Oh, and we have three giveaways today. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, you took a picture of those. The yeah, other so if you come in the shop, you can enter. If you are one of our customers who um, shops with us from outside of our area, if you shop online, you're, you're gonna be entered to win. And I will ship the prize to you. We're your local yarn store from afar. Yeah, we're your lo local <laughs> yarn store here when you are there. Um, and the sale that we have going on, all that stuff is still going. Mm -hmm. So that's it, Sarah. I'm done. And then, isn't it also Did I miss something? the show? Oh! It's the show's it's the show's yeah. birthday. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so today. Is it actually this week? This it was actually weekend? yesterday. It was yesterday. Okay. Yeah. So um, yesterday, and so we're celebrating it today. Yesterday marked three years of the Cheers to You show. Yes. And my. You've been here a year and a half on the show? Is that right? I, Almost two I guess, years? Um, wait. I started. I started February. working here in February. So I've been here for. Th Three years already, right? No, two, <laughs> two and a half. Because I was here for all three birthdays, but you've we've been here for three years. But so. you started on the show in like in 2019, maybe February, March, something like that. Yeah, February. it's been probably a, about a year and a half. Yeah, it's been fun. It has. You been, bring yeah. you bring good stuff. So <laughs> yeah, and, and I remember saying to Sarah, um, "Hey." Uh, looking for a new co-host um how about it and the first thing she did was she looked at me and she went like ah, uh -huh. <laughs> i don't know <laughs> about, that. about that but it's been fun and i was it talking to been. somebody yesterday um karen actually that um it's nice to switch back and forth mm -hmm. because we bring different things to yeah. the table so yeah, we all have different interests yeah. and present things differently yeah it's so. been good yeah so thank you you're welcome. Yeah. Happy Thank birthday you. show for inviting me. Sure. <laughs> You're welcome. So that's it. So now Sarah's going to take it away because she's got um, some cool stuff that I tried not to look at. <laughs> oh, yeah. I won't tell you yet. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah. I what's got me started on this was I was, uh, you know, scrolling through Instagram as I do way no. too much of the day, <laughs> as probably a lot of people do. And I came across, um, uh, her, her name is Alex Bird. Um, A-L-E-K-S is her first name. Alex, and yeah. Al oh, Alex Bird. Alex, oh my God. Okay, <laughs> Bird, and B-Y-R-D is her, um, Alex is her last name. So that her that's her mm. uh, Instagram name, it's just her name together. So she has oh. done and is doing a collaboration with um, Lane Magazine. Oh, that's why. Okay, I I was like trying to figure out, yeah, like, like where it all came why, from. Why? Yes, I was trying <laughs> to put it all together. <laughs> yeah. So um, it's not coming out until December, um, but she posted a teaser um, a couple of days ago, and I came across it, and I was like, well, I've never seen that before, so let's uh, let's look into this and. The technique that she's using is called Estonian Rusimin. And what did you name the show today? Uh, what is it about Estonia? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> because, so that's what I'm going to talk about like at the end, but I just wanted to go over kind of like, Estonia comes up a lot in, in knitting. There's um, Estonian lace, there's the Estonian cast on, there's Estonian bind up and Estonian braid and all of these things. Um, so and I just wanted to talk to it. a little bit of, it's, it's very, right? um, it seems very kind of particular and methodical and 
like structured and that kind of always draws me a little bit. I mean, like in some things I'm free because I'm like, oh, I'm just going to put color in this sweater wherever I want to. Um, but in other things, I'm just, I'm kind of like, like I like there's, there's like a recipe to it. You know what I mean? Like there's, yeah. the outcome is expected. I appreciate you <laughs> process people because that's not necessarily my strong suit. <laughs> but I love the look of all the Estonian stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. So um, I just, I was, I just, the name of the show was what is it about Estonia? Cause it just seems like so many things come out of there for this like tiny little country in the Baltic. So yeah, the map um, was good. Wait till we get to the yeah, map. Yeah. So, okay. Well, so that's what I'm going to start with is the, is the map. So we oh. can know where Estonia is. Okay. Allow me to hunt that down. Okay. There we go. Okay. So there's Estonia, which off to yes, the see it. east of it is Russia and then Latvia and Lithuania below it. And then that's like, on the Baltic Sea. And so there's some islands there off of Estonia too um, that are part of Estonia, obviously they're in the in the pink. So um, they're kind of separated, but you know, everybody's mariners and all that right. kind of stuff. So there was still some, some trade, but the, each of the islands kind of um, developed its own little um, idiosyncrasies in their knitting, special patterns and all that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, knitting is, so it's a lot of it is similar also to the um, Selbu mittens, which I did a show on that a while ago um, with, the, with the mittens and smaller items like socks and stuff like that being um, very popular for gifts, um, especially at weddings and right. um, uh, making them like the bride making them for for the everybody yeah. in the yeah That's so right. um, so there's a lot of uh, kind of folk culture that goes with um, their knitting and they have specific um, patterns and techniques that are um, particular particular to them, right? them. yes yeah, so I'll I'll go over a couple of those but um, Nancy Bush mm -hmm. um, is the one that popularized so she has quite a few books I have three Which on there books are they tell me um, there's the Knitting Lace book, right there. Yep. I think I'm pretty sure that Ooh. one's hers. Yeah, is that one's her. hers. That's beautiful. Yeah. So, so one of the one of the um, stories, and I'm sure it's true, um, the the wool and the linen that they primarily use um, in Estonia's traditional materials. That's gorgeous. Um, the wedding shawls that they would make were so fine. Is this one of them, you think? I'm not sure if that particular like one on the front is considered shawl. a wedding shawl, but mm -hmm. it is a typical Estonian lace shawl. Okay. Um, but the, but the, the story is that they, the knitting was so fine that you can draw the whole shawl through the wedding ring. Like, oh, because... that just made me... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so... <laughs> Uh, as I, yeah. so okay well let me do the books and then I'll talk about that a little okay. bit more so there that was the um the wedding shawl one and then there is one that it's it's I think it just came out not too long ago and it's a series and I thought there was three but I could only find two the um, Estonian knitting book yes I have with the this blue one. cover okay so it's not that new okay so well I mean I got it it's within the last several years okay I got it during the master knitter stuff but I I've never looked for the other so there's a I know there's a two there's another one that has like a red cover and it has a two on it but I read in a couple places where they were kind of just giving overviews of the of the books um that that said it was a trilogy and I and I was like, well, where's the third one? So I don't know if it's yet to be published or it never got published or I read that wrong or, or something, but there's at least two. Have to look. That's um, interesting. And it goes through, I wish that um, Amazon had one of those like flip through so you could see a couple of the pages, but they, but they didn't because apparently it covers everything, everything. the yeah. history, the ideology behind it. Like mm. it is comprehensive. Hi, Good morning, Kim. <laughs> Good morning. Um, so it, it covers everything. And then there was one more Nancy Bush book, I think. If I think I named um, it book, something mm, book. Mm, something mm, book. Estonian knitting, button folk knitting book? Yes, that one. Get it. Okay, so I that one. one too. 
I thought I that I recognized book. that. Yeah. I think you brought that in for I think something I did. at some point. Yeah. So that's folk knitting in Estonia. And you can see those gloves there um, beside the socks are not I'm looking at the cover of the book because that's where the computer is um it like you can see where the similarities to the Selbu mittens came from but it doesn't they don't utilize um that eight-pointed star mm -hmm. um like the Selbu mittens do but they do have very geometric and meaningful patterns and um cool the red around the cuff was supposed to ward off uh evil to the wearer and um you know did it work um uh, well, it's still there. So. You know, I'm well. I'm wondering if the whole um, pulling the shawl through the wedding ring thing, what went had through, some kind of symbol symbolism, right? Well, I think it was to wear the bride down before she got married. I don't know because I'm sitting here thinking if you. If you think about it, that could be a test. Oh, I know. Like you're terrified. Like you're not allowed to test it. Like before your wedding day and then and then they're like oh does it fit through the wedding ring well and even just accomplishing the shawl uh -huh. they would say oh yes you know um because they're huge like these are not like you know just little no, like neck yeah. they are enormous yeah so then and they're all it's all that complicated lace so mm -hmm. if you have the patience to do that or if you get worn down during the process then you're probably <laughs> a worthy candidate i would not have made it through that no, mine would have been like a neckerchief. <laughs> I'd have been like, eh, that's good enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. Swatch, anyone? Yeah, really. <laughs> Mini shawl? I know. Yeah. Please, Matt, maybe. That's about it. Um, so the only thing I can't, like, I have never done any Estonian lace. Um, I haven't either. And I don't, to my knowledge, have knit anything of lace weight yarn. I've held it double with yes. things. <laughs> But Yet. I don't see myself going there too much. Well, we, you know, I know, and you know from the shop, when we have lace knitters come in, Yes. most of the lace knitters I have met are lace knitters. That's it. That's, like, that's they're like, what they do. They're like, size four needle? Ew, Ew. that's too big. <laughs> yeah, they do super tiny stuff. And we, we have one customer... I, I wish she would pop back in, but of course with COVID, it's been a little dicey that way. But um, she makes, you guys, somebody out there is going to know what this is, <laughs> what the right term is. Um, but she is Catholic and she makes the, a, a like, there's a name for it. It's a, it's like almost like a, a prayer veil. But, like, like oh, a, but more like a like it has a head, it's a head covering. It's a head kind of scarf. Too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, but big because it drapes, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes, and I don't remember. There's a very specific name that she used, and I don't remember. But she has come and gotten lace weight yarn from us for that. So, um, there's three people I can think off the top of my head that specifically. Oh. That's all. That's the it, our lace yarn is in the back corner. Yeah, and that's the only place they go. They're they go like, straight <laughs> to it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They know what they want. Yeah. So it's interesting. So if anybody knows the name of that head covering scarf that I'm talking about, specifically related to Catholicism, please post it. Because <laughs> otherwise, I'm gonna have to look it up after. But um, I, I can see what you're talking about, but I do, I don't know the she name. For it. She knits them for family members. I think. Oh, okay. Um, um would you call that? Okay, Marley, I'm going to say this incorrectly. Mattia or Matilla? Matilla? Hmm. And Ed popped in with that, you guys. Oh, okay. Well, they, there we they go. go on Jeopardy, y'all. I know. Yeah. All we have to do is ask a question, and then I our love people, it. Just, they just answer it. They're it's, amazing. It's a community of knowledgeable people. <laughs> and, like, random things, too. Like, when we talk about other stuff, and we're like, I don't know what that song is. <laughs> Look, there are two things that are for sure about our community. One, smart people. And two, if they don't know the answer... They're friends They'll with the it. Google. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kim okay. said, wait, Kim said, I never look at the lace weight. Right there with you. <laughs> yep. Nope. It's a, to hold with. Mati to Man hold with. Mantia. 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 Chapel veil. Thank you. And oh, Mantia. Well, that, yes. Okay, so that's yes. Um, maybe like a, um, from South America would be. I know. Or know. Spain. I, I, okay. And I, I'm out of my depth. I know. Not. <laughs> yes. Okay. Sure. We'll go. We'll go with that. Yeah. Until we know better. We'll find out. <laughs> Inquiring minds. Okay. Okay. So some specific specific 
techniques um, that you typically see in a lot of um, Estonian uh, knitting, especially the shawls, um, would be the noop stitch. Oh. So I do have a little yep. um, thing about the noop. So those little bobble-esque um, type things. So it was the, the little definition that I looked up was um, it's, a, it's considered a type of bobble, but it's made with fewer steps than a traditional knit bobble. Um, so some people suggested that it was slightly easier to make. Although depending on how dense you make it and how many stitches you add onto there, the next row that you come back, you have to knit all of those together. So if you have like 12 stitches, you have to knit all of those together. But another interesting Jeez. fact that I did come across in um, the explanation for the noob stitch and then the star technique that I'll show in a second is that it, it was specifically mentioned numerous times that this this style of knitting requires a very loose gauge. Oh, I yeah, um, I would imagine so and a you, sharp needle. Yeah. So yeah. and if you look at some of <clears throat> yeah. the lace, it doesn't necessarily look like even if you're knitting with cobweb or lace weight yarn, you're not on like a one. You are on a larger needle. A little bit, yeah, um, yeah. So you're not, um, if you're not like on a zero or a one or anything like that, you're you're on a larger needle. Um, and then, so the noop is a very um, traditional um, Estonian stitch. I want to show and it's, that again. It's used to kind of. Um, this one doesn't really show it, but there's a lot of motifs where you use the noops to outline a whole shape. Oh, so like a diamond, okay, okay. or a star shape, or um, or like the edges of you know these like shell shapes so the whole um like shawl is kind of made up of these yarn overs and and noops that make designs within the shawl and then wow. the rest of it is either stockinette or this star technique star which technique. is the star stitch um, I think I put that on there. i'm getting it there we go. Okay, so that is just a combination of stitches that makes this type of fabric um, that then is used as kind of like a an, like the inlay fabric. You know, is, this is really interesting. Do you remember the triangle stitch pattern triangle. that I was messing with? Like, I don't know that I showed it on the show, but it, it's a Russian chart. No, I don't remember that at all. I'm going to find it and show you. So okay. <clears throat> if you guys ever want to see some really interesting stitches, look for charts that are done in Russian. The symbols are different, but there's, a, there's one that has these triangles, and the construction is really interesting, and, and it's very similar. And hmm. I would imagine proximity to Russia. Yeah, that makes shares. sense. They're, yeah, yeah. That's just very familiar to me. So I guess uh, I didn't write it's this pretty. down, but if I can, if I'm remembering correctly, um, there, there, the origins of knitting in Estonia were um, said to have been um, like from the Crusades, you know, like and then the and then the that makes perfect sense. It's the slave the trade and servant po population yes. would come in and 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 spread their knowledge about that. Well, and, then, and um, Finland. So in that map I saw, you know, Finland, and I'm trying to remember how far off. Um, Norway, Sweden, they're not that far from Finland, right? I, I You guys, think. I'm terrible at this game, but I don't think <laughs> they're that far. And because of all of that history and the, the seafarers, mm -hmm. I, this all, all makes yeah. perfect sense. So it all just kind of, everything kind of... It all got mixed together. Yep, and goes back and forth. Um, and then they develop it, and then there's like a new wave influx or... Or yep. outgoing kind of thing. Um, so okay, so those two stitches, the, that nup, that the nup, noop and the star stitch, mm -hmm. um, are very particular. And then there's um, things that I put in the show notes because they are kind of some videos. There's an Estonian cast on, which I had done unbeknownst to me. Yeah. Um, it's a version of the long tail cast on, but it gives a very stretchy. Yeah. Um, and so it's really good for cuffs of socks mm -hmm. and things like that. Mittens, and it looks very hats. pretty too. Yeah. yeah, it's really nice. There's an Estonian bind off. 
Um, there is an Estonian braid, which is a lateral braid, which I which did put really a picture. Which is really pretty. Let me find in there, and it's uh, really. Um, I find it very interesting how it's how it's made. Um, I'm not going to try to explain it because it wouldn't make any sense, but uh, it's a rhythm kind of like herringbone. Like you just get into that kind of like two stitch, one stitch rhythm, and it. It just it's pretty does cool. It. It's, it's kind of like I don't. Th th this kind of stuff always amazes me because I'm thinking like, did somebody, like, really go through those knit stitches and like understand that that's what it was going to do, or was it a mistake? And then they replicated the mistake because it looked. Or they were playing. <laughs> I mean, look at Casapinka because she does all kinds. She she says, oh, it's just a made up stitch. And when I've heard her say that, I thought. It's an invented stitch because, yeah. it, you know, that's how all the stitches started right. <laughs> was with somebody messing was around. Like, and, how about if I do this? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I, I think it's really cool, the invention yeah. of stitches. And I'm sure, just you know, like Just like a heel turn. Constantly amazed that it works every single time. <laughs> it does work. Never, yeah. will never cease to, to amaze me. It is, I love. It's brilliant. It's a pain in the butt to turn a heel because it takes forever, but I love watching it's not it. Not that it's not that bad. It's fiddly. It's it's yeah. Oh, you're right. Never yeah, mind. It does take I'm forever. trying to encourage you guys. <laughs> and by the way, if you want to learn to do socks, um, uh, Sandy. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a whole host of classes, and I'll mention how that works at the end of the show. But one of them is a sock class, and so get a couple friends together mm -hmm. and. Yeah. yeah, definitely take that class. There you go. Um, and then uh, traveling stitches, I have. Traveling. Which I love. Oh, my gosh. I love traveling stitches. So I was a little bit confused Ooh. on the traveling stitches. Ex yeah. Um, so when I looked that up a little bit more, it technically is a cable. Because I was, I was like, how can it not be a cable? Because you're using a cable. It's just the smallest cable you can make because it only involves one stitch. Well, and these are awesome because you can do them without a cable needle. Right. And the, the other thing about this is, this is not, um, I, I'm, the way, how do I say this? So there are, I have a book on Austrian traveling stitches. Mm -hmm. So this style made its way into a bunch of different countries, but my understanding is, and maybe it was the same in Estonia, that if you did a pattern, it was often kind of like fisherman sweaters that your pattern was your family's. Did you find anything I, like that? Um, I didn't look into I didn't research these things I was just doing things like from Estonia Got so it. I did okay. yeah um I'm not but, positive about that by the way you, but. I mean all of that kind of seems to make sense because the gloves and the patterns that they put on the, the it gloves, was your those family motifs right? are like they're your they're or, your favorites I think like you're kind whatever. of known yeah. for them yeah so I don't know that it's necessarily like this is the whoever not plan, like a plan or, or whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's just like oh, like that, a plaid. This family no, likes to do that. Not a plaid. Tartan. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Remember your 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 show topics there, Lady Anne. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> plaid I knew is that. the blanket, right? Right. And tartan, tartan is, is the, the pattern. pattern. Yes. Hey. Just like. Uh, I think she uh, just gave me a D on my <laughs> term paper. Damn. <laughs> I'm <pretty No>. sure. <laughs> I'm trying. Uh, um, so those traveling stitches are beautiful. And you can make, I mean, I've seen people do like, you know, I mean, you can even make like words out of them if you really want to be that dedicated with it. Here you go. Here's what Jennifer said. <laughs> Too fancy it. for jazzercise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I would probably fall off my little like, you know, step aerobics thing because I would be trying to look at your calf while <laughs> Um, okay, and you can pretty well bet I will not be in an aerobics class anytime soon. So, um, okay, yeah. next is the next. Estonian button, which I have a little. Oh, um, oh, I can't wait to see this. So it's Ooh. it's it's like a little. Um, it's actually pretty cool the way that it's constructed. I put a, I put a video. <laughs> I put I a show. video. <laughs> I put a video on there of how it's constructed. It's really simple. You just go in between two stitches and, and pull a stitch over. There. <laughs> there. <laughs> You're trying to figure out where to put it. Yeah. I'll put it under me. And put a stitch over. Okay. And then and then drop another stitch, like slip another stitch well, over it. So this, it's kind of like it's wrapped a little bit. This is how the actually this is kind of the way the coin stitch. 
pattern. Well, it could be the same thing. It's just like well, this looks like things. it has more. So more it has wraps. one stitch that you're actually knitting wrapped around it so that's okay. two legs okay and then there's one stitch that's extra that you need to get rid of so you pass that over. over yeah so there's technically like three um strips of yarn around there but one is a full stitch and one is a passed over um stitch um so it's a it said it's a cross between a smock and a bobble at this point i'm like i've been you know <laughs> laced nuked and, <laughs> and, and buttoned yeah they do a lot of structural stuff they do wow so that's kind of like all this other stuff is like oh, i love it what is coming out of estonia it's and pretty. what has come out of estonia but the but the specific technique like i said that that got me on estonia is called estonian rusimin i'm uh, i'm hoping find. that that's how it pronounce it it's pronounced so there's actually two different words. There's Rusamin and Rusitude. Um, the Lane Baird one, the Lane Bird one. Okay. Because that's the one that's the teaser. There we go. So sorry, that is off my Instagram because that's where the teaser was. Um, so it's, I don't know if you can tell exactly on that, but I do have pictures that show it, show a different one um, uh, closer up. So it's basically, an inlay technique where you're essentially uh, almost embroidering while you're knitting. Oh, um, wow. So, okay. I mean, and another way to explain it is you're using floats in front. So, oh, in front, okay. Yes, but, That's interesting. but it's, it's also considered, <clears throat> um, and this is not my language, this is the, considered easier than intarsia because you're not um, having to concern yourself with the twisting of the of the two stitches to get that color line to match up. You know what this looks like is that wrap that you that I tried to talk about last time. I think that you did. It's really it, it's a really big one, and I think you were doing surface surface surface. Yeah, surface you talked crochet. about, and I still don't know what you're talking. About. <laughs> you talked about that last week, and I was trying to figure out which one. She I was done doing so many projects <laughs> that I can see it in my head. It's really pretty. It's a big rectangular wrap, but I think it. Wow, you can see my hands. Oh, <laughs> but it's crocheted. Yeah. Oh, that one. Yes. Okay. Because that looks like a it's cross stitched. I'm That's doing right. the cross stitch. Yeah. Okay. I know what you're talking about now. Which one? Yay. The huga. That's what it is. The huga. No wonder wrap. I couldn't remember. <laughs> that looks like Haiji, but it's pronounced huga. <laughs> uh, right. Remember? Yeah. yeah okay. Um, okay, so Rusamin translates into uh, decorating with roses. Oh. Um, that's what that word means. I like that. And there's Rusamin and Rusitude. One of them refers to the technique, and I believe it's Rusitude refers to the finished item. It's a it's Rusitude knit. Like that's how it's so the okay. item. All right. But but they're they've been used interchangeably. So um, usually you can just use either one um if you search for estonian rusamin on ravelry only four patterns come up i think there's probably more out there that use that technique and they just don't use the name wow. um now i want to try it are you gonna try it i probably am because it's um it doesn't seem to be a particularly difficult technique there is um a bit of a fiddly thing on every other row because if you think about it you have your contrast color and you get a chart and I think I've got a chart like a sample uh, chart in there it shows you the rusitude chart yeah okay. so those black squares would be where the float is coming in front so you're you're knitting stitches in your main color behind that and then it's telling you where to put your contrast color in the front of your work and then to take it to the back of your work again and then put it in the front of your work you know so you get the <clears throat> lines that it's supposed to be and those lines can sometimes be 10 stitches long i mean they like it can be you mean the floats the floats themselves can be that's what i was gonna ask pretty long do they catch the floats or do they so that's a long run yeah so and the other thing that i read that was interesting um is that in traditional Rusamin, you use two strands of a contrast color because it makes it um, 
thicker and it for two reasons one it gives you a more defined oh the color that was on the surface yeah the, the yeah. contrast color yeah, yeah the, the embroidered color it gives you a more defined um motif and it also provides extra thickness so that it doesn't slip as much so you've okay. got it's a little bit more stable Boy, so that would make a thick fabric. Oh my gosh. Yeah, which if is you're... which is one of the other reasons why wow. they would do it is because then you would have thicker fabric and it'd be warmer. Yeah, and you and it would be it would wow. be warmer. Um Yikes. so for the for the first line when you're starting out with your contrast color on the right hand the right hand side of your knitting and you knit across and you do your floats and all that kind of stuff right and there. then you knit back around because it's like usually on socks and sleeves and all that kind of stuff. So you're usually knitting in the round. You can do it back and forth, but if you're knitting in the round, then when you come back to where your chart starts again, your yarn is on the left-hand side. So it's a, it's a weird description, but it's not as difficult as it sounds. You pull a loop back around and then knit with it again. So you actually do have like a giant like float in the back but you're knitting it in. Yeah, and then you float it again. It's oh very my. odd. Like you, wow. need, yeah, it's a loop that you're working with on the even rounds. So then the odd round, your yarn would be back on the right hand side, and you work across. And then on the even rounds, you've got to pull that loop back around. But because it's just kind of trapped in between those stitches, um, it's really easy to adjust your tension at the end of your round to make yeah. sure that it's not too tight or puckered or um, or anything like this, that. So it seems really cool, but it seems really I think you'd have to play with it a little bit. It's definitely well, a our specific climate, technique. I'm thinking that's the one thing like when you talk about how many strands are running behind. <laughs> holy smoke. I mean, that's going to be it would be it would be a dense you know, so you can wear it that one day in February in <laughs> North Carolina. When, well, if you have it just on know. like the outside of your sleeve, you know. Well, that's true. It's not that's usually true. like you know all of it. It still it's, would be pretty like, warm. I mean, even to uh, have yeah. the sleeves like that. So you know, yeah, that's interesting. Um, but then I just have a couple hmm. examples that I showed. So there's like the Rusman socks. Got it. So those, that's one from Ravelry. That's actually a free pattern too. So if you really want to try. So you see how on the toes oh, and the heel, yeah. she's using that contrast color also, but there's only one strand of the contrast color when you're doing it as normal knitting on the sock part. But then when you're doing those, you know, the embroidered lines, she's using two strands of wow. that contrast color and you can see in this picture yeah. pretty clearly the floats in the front right i mean that that's essentially what cool. they are it's just it's just the rest of it isn't knitted into it at all so it's like it's just that panel with floats in it so when they take that strand back around you're catching that float no right? you're not taking it all the way back around the sock oh, no oh. it just stays in that Oh, you're bringing it back to the other side of the motif. Yes, yes. Okay, got it. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So then there's wow. like Rusaman mitts. Let me show those. And here are the mitts. These are beautiful. Yeah, so those are a little bit more modern, obviously, with the wow. colors. Um, and then I think there's just a couple more, like whatever else you find there. Whatever is. else. Um, uh, Rusitude mitten? Yeah. That's another one. And also... Um, so that's a little bit more traditional motif not necessarily color kim said the other ones were gorgeous they are and so and these are too i mean those are i mean so i mean fun. they are usually knitting the mittens on pretty fine um wool yeah. and sometimes they'll have it where it just like goes up the pinky you know like it'll just go up the 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 design the design will just oh, like wow. just go up the pinky and i mean they're really pretty they are pretty yeah so and then I you have Rusa to Main. Main? What is that? Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was the name of her picture. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. There we go. That was a hat. There's there actually you can see it very clearly. Yeah, there's okay. actually a video of her doing um, some stuff too where she shows how to do that, like take it from the left hand side of your knitting to bring it back to the right hand side. Okay, this yeah. makes sense now because 
it it's w- basically yeah. like you would just be embroidering it, except you're doing the embroidery without a needle I get at it. the same yeah. time as you're knitting. I was thinking, so it's there's not a giant thickness issue. I was thinking just you meant, right there yeah, at the just at the just design. at the motif. Yeah, uh, not the whole way around, but just at the motif. There. Although, yeah. if you wanted to make a crazy thick fabric, you could just catch your floats all the way around, Go and for then it. and then and then it would be where you need it when you come back to the. That'd be a lot of extra work, though. Those of you living at the North Pole, <laughs> give Sarah a shout. I would, <laughs> yeah. I would rather just do the. Um, ooh, what's the thingies with the tufts? I did oh. the show on it. <laughs> Where you put the tufts of stuff inside? Sandy's gonna come know. on, Sandy. You know, <laughs> not. Um, it's like the floofs of on the inside. Yeah, on the inside. Uh, I know to what make you're talking it thick. And I did a show on gone. it. <laughs> If you if you remember that, Sandy, <laughs> post it. Yeah. I would rather just do that. Thrums. There we Thank go. Thank you. Thrums. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it just came this to me. This is the day of <laughs> what word uh, are we trying to come up I, with now? You know, I'm lucky that like any of this even happened. Thrumming with, uh, Sandy. Yep. With with the virtual schooling. You know what? You're doing great. And I, I know. Oh, uh, you know, <laughs> suffice it to say, we've had a week too. So when yeah. I came cruising in here, Sarah was like, are you okay? I let's said, let's share our horror stories. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> really good. Um, yeah. Thank God for this shop though. I have to I tell know. you. I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. I just get to sit here and look it's, at stuff. It's a happy spot. <laughs> it is. It is a happy spot. So. Did I have any other pictures of um, there? You had... There might be one or two more. I th- I think that might be Estonian braid. You did that, No, that right? was the braid, yeah. Yeah, I think <clears> we got <throat> them all. I love okay. I love that style. And I was actually talking to Karen, it was Karen Mantioni yesterday, about the show and how you like to do lots of structure things. And she goes, yeah, she's an architect. And I said, yeah. <laughs> and I said, and I just, I am mad about color. I'm mad yeah. about color. So... This is actually a really cool technique that mm-hmm. incorporates structure and color. color. Yeah. I love it. I think it's really cool. Because um, interesting, that one with the hat, the last picture that we showed, and um, um, the lady that was talking about it um, made the comment that by nature of the technique, because it's so pronounced. This one. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, you can use colors that have lower contrast and still get a very defined um, motif because they're not stitches next to each other yeah. where you would really need to be concerned about that in um, Fair Isle or um, other stranded color work um, where your contrast needs to be higher because it's <laughs> right. a knit stitch that's right next to it. Because this is a motif that's put on top of the knit stitches, um, your color selection can be um, more subtle if you want it to be. Well, and when I said it's a relief, I didn't mean whew. I meant <laughs> it's like a bass up relief. on top. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. So I thought that because it was, I had never I heard it. of it before. Um, and then because it said Estonian, and I was like, man, those Estonians are <laughs> like, they're churning out some techniques yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the phone, you guys. We're, um, we're, we open at 10. So, we're very somebody's, popular. Yeah. There you go. They need their yarn. They're calling in. Um, somebody wants you to help them with their thrumming. That's what it is. Oh, okay. That's it. <laughs> so um, that is it for that's the that's that. my topic. Yep. And that was cool. Isn't it neat? I yeah. think it's really cool. I think I may want to try that. Yeah. Yeah. Now that I know too that it doesn't make like a down comforter. <laughs> yeah. You know? Really. On the whole thing, your socks are like a half an inch thick. <laughs> that would be really neat to use even just in a spot, you know, just yeah. one little. And then, I mean, there's nothing that says you can't like go back and put, you know, some French knots in there or, or whatever you want to do to yeah. even add that up. Like it could, it could be the thing or it could be, be really the base cool. for it. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I, Ooh, cool. I just thought what, how cool would it be if you did the things this way and then you went back and you like, Ooh, oh. weave. Oh, that would be neat. Wow. That's weird. So actually you're doing your weft uh-huh. first. <clears throat> I mean, yes, just in the other way. Me. Yeah, because <laughs> then you would uh, do your warp the other way. Yeah. Oh no, Kim. you would warp it. Oh, did you call us, Kim? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be. Well, I'll get the phone. 
call, call us back at 10. Um, and yes, you can get the yarn. Um, I'll have to make those products go live. Actually, call us back at 1030 if that was you that called. I just have to do one little click in the system so that they go live. There you go. But the weaving would be really cool. Wouldn't it? There's a lot you could do with that. Yeah. Ooh. I think I think a, uh, a sample is will be coming up at some point just so we can play with it <laughs> see what's going on with it yeah I'm now what I'm else really we can curious. do I know right yeah you could even do oh <laughs> Kim said no I didn't do that oh <laughs> she wasn't the one that called <laughs> no she wasn't the one that called so whoever called call us back at 10 30 um yeah, but just, just shout later on, Kim, whenever. Whenever you're ready for some yarn, give us a shout. Um, so the other things that are going on are in two weeks. Yay. No. That's oh, local yarn sorry. Show. That's today. today. <laughs> Wrong slide. That's today. Um, so come. I will say that we initially said we would be, you know, have outside sitting and knitting, but I don't think the weather is going to cooperate today. I mean, if you want to, there's trees. It's not like you can't sit on the by the side of the building on the sidewalk, but it does look like we're going to get rained out. So, well, um, the other thing is, if people come, they can sit at the table. A have, lim limited number. Yeah, yeah, we have six seats at the table, so come on and hang out. I do want to tell you with your um, mask. Yes, with your mask. And speaking of, um, I am wearing a Ooh, yeah a beaded mask keeper that was made by Sandy Rosner. Thank you, Sandy. And um, it is on the menu of classes that we have put up on the website. If you go to the website, you'll see um, class menu. I think in the top navigation, if not click on classes, you'll see it. Um, but we're going at classes a little bit differently. We have a whole bunch of classes listed for you to choose from. And there are classes from all three of us. So um, from me, from Sarah, and from Sandy. And um, we have new ones listed. And the way it works is you pick the class. And if you need folks to take it with, because the price that you see is for three seats. It's for three people in the class. So if you need folks to take it with you, go on to Cheers to You Peeps and give a shout out. And we actually had a class form this week for Sandy's um, sock. Oh, yay. Yeah, Magic Number Sock. They got all signed up. And, and that's not to say that you can't take it on your own or with two people. It's more expensive that you way. You just split but the, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, three is the limit just so we can keep everyone um, safe at the table. And we know that with classes, people want to, um, they need, you need to see what's going on and mm -hmm. get attention during a class. So very small groups, but it really, I have to say, I think it's a super cool listing of classes. Yeah, it's very comprehensive. There's it's like fun. kind of something for everybody. Yeah. And the other nice thing about it is um, you communicate with the teacher on um, what time works. Um, during you know, during whatever shop, shop hours. hours are. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if, if, because we were doing all of our classes on Saturdays, because that's when majority of people can make it. But if you get a group of people together and they it's can do Wednesday, it on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Wednesday at it. noon, then, and the yeah. teacher can do it, then that works too. I love this. Yeah. And Sarah has a stitch marker making class. I do. So yeah, if you have like a, um, uh, like a special project that needs special reminders or something like that, you can make a set, um, for a special project, or if you want monogrammed ones, or you want to make a gift for somebody, um, I'll bring all the supplies. Um, um, some colored beads and some number and letter beads and and you can make some some stitch markers I think that's really fun yeah yeah so that is what we have for you so yes. come today and <laughs> um, visit us for local yarn store day or if you're um, one of our uh, cheers to you family members cheers to you peeps from um, afar then uh, shop online or give us a shout and um, we're happy to help you and um, definitely come and enter the drawing or if you shop online you'll get entered for the drawing yes. as well um, and don't forget that these little numbers yay yeah i'm really this excited oh my gosh lady ends. <laughs> what because it's because the the oh whatever the I'm like, it's, what? it doesn't look like this it looks Ooh. yeah look at hers because <laughs> For whatever reason, my light here is like completely washing it out. I don't know. You know, it's a high-end <laughs> studio here. Well, thank when, you guys. When what? are we going to do the oh. drawing? Oh, um, what? You actually want to know when? 
Yeah, there is that little detail. <laughs> um, we will do the drawing at the very uh, end of the shop day. So if you're shopping online, um, do your shopping by 5 p.m. Eastern time. So that would be good. So, yeah. And, and then, then we'll, we'll you and I can run the, we'll do the drawing right at the end. Okay. And there's three yeah. different ones. So that, yeah. Three there's, kits. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I also want to say a quick shout out to um, the, the companies and design designer that um, did things for us um, that are in that email I sent out, which I will post about, are Malabrigo, Barocco, Cascade. And then also I want to give a shout out to um, Jessica, the designer behind Double the Stitches, she sent us a chunk of codes that oh. if you um, shop in our shop today and buy yarn to do her cowl, which did I get? The, um, I think it's called um, Together Apart is the name of the cowl. Together Apart. This is a black and white picture, but it's really cool. You oh, can pretty. do it. Yeah, it's, it's super cute. Do it with DK or sport weight yarn. It looks like a really enjoyable, just, you know, just an enjoyable knit. Um, if you buy the yarn for that, then she gives you a code to get the pattern for free. So thank you so much to Jessica. We really appreciate that. And I also put a code in the thing to get $2 off today. Um, and I think it's through actually Friday, any of my patterns. Oh, wow. So um, <clears throat> go for it. There you go. Thank you for all your support. Yes. And um, we really appreciate it. Now I'm ready to go work on those techniques. So, <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys a ton. Um, again, I'm Lady Anne. And Carol. I'm Sarah. Sarah. And we will see. Well, I will see I, you next week. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be celebrating my niece's first birthday. Yep. And then Sarah will be back for the crop. Yes. So we're looking forward to it. You guys have a good one. Have a wonderful day. And thank you for joining us. And off we go. Bye. Bye.